Welcome back to another episode of High Lord Fox's Garage. I'm your host, High Lord Fox, and we are again in the field working on my 1985 Grand Prix. Today's adventure, we're going to pressure wash it. Clean it a little, maybe get a little bit of the scale off, get it a little bit nicer looking. Uh, it's a little gangly as you can see. I have taken the liberty of, I sprayed it with the hose, and I've also poured about half a container of sudsy cleaner snow foam thing. So, uh, enjoy uh, the pressure washing. Uh, I am waiting on an ozone generator, so I'm going to put dump that in there and kill the smell a little bit, make it a little more habitable to work on the interior when I get to that. And I have an engine hoist on order, so when that comes in, we can move this a bit closer to our work area, get the hood off, get the engine disconnected, and get it lifted out. And once it's out, then we can start working on it. And I'll have a whole bunch of videos on how to rebuild a Chevy small block. 400 Chevy small block, made in April of 1974 and it actually came out of a B class wagon which means this came out of a Capri station wagon the engine that was in this thing about 130 horsepower some number of torque I can look it up the details will be in the bottom here but we finally know what's in this thing having done our due diligence now I can order the correct parts because we were kind of approximating it with like mid 70s suburban mid 80s suburban back in the day Look at the difference. Look at all of this scale that just comes right off. I'm still going to need to do a much finer job with a little bit of a brush and everything. But look, look at this Landau top. Look at, look at the color difference, the, the grayish tinge to the actual ivory color it's supposed to be. This is going to be very beautiful once it is fully cleaned off. I have a lot more to go. I just only cleared eh, about a third of the car. I still have the top the hood the other side in the rear but you can just see the difference that just a pressure washing can make this this car could maybe a hundred feet pass for a it's a hundred foot car you know a hundred feet away it looks great uh but this is this is going to be fantastic i'm going to keep pressure washing it uh i'm going to get the back i'm going to get the sides i'm going to get the top and get a little bit more i'm already aware that I have to get new seals. As you can see, the seals are uh, not working out too well. I have to get new rubber seals for both sides, full door sill seals, the works. But look, look at this. Like, this is this has gotta be redone. I gotta get new chrome bits on it. But look, you, you can see the Grand Prix on it. You can see the actual chrome, which is shiny. See the sticks that are stuck in there. I mean, you can see the actual white of the car again. It is, just look at that contrast. Look at that contrast. And this is just a little Ryobi 1.5 gallon per minute electric pressure washer. So just with that, just alone, a little bit of soap in the mixture, a little bit of soap on the car. You can see some of the suds. Oh, maybe I can see the suds. But let's get uh, let's get the rest of this nice and cleaned off. And uh, we'll do another uh, another sweep once I get the back all cleared off.
as I mentioned in my previous video, I love Landau tops, as they're properly called, not Lamellar or whatever I was uttering at the time. And as I did some research and double checking, these were actually designed to mimic the look of a convertible without actually it being a convertible. And they were very popular in the 30s to 50s because it gave you the look of a convertible, even if you didn't have the convertible option. And there used to also be clips and, and latches for when you felt folded the top back. Now, there's this model I don't think was ever offered in a convertible, so it's just a makes it look luxurious. But I do know that they did come as a T-top option because I have seen models that have the removable tops up here. So, a little bit of history lesson and we'll, we'll get back to uh, spraying. pressure wash 85 Grand Prix. I'm going to call that it for tonight because it's starting to get a little dark and the temperature's starting to drop and I got dinner back over there waiting for me. So next time we'll come in as soon as I get my either my ozone generator or engine lift, whichever comes first, we'll get this shifted over into a more workable location. We'll get the generator in, kill all the stuff in there, kill the smell in the ant colonies because there's a lot of ants in there. Just let you know. And once we have all that taken care of and done, 
we can get to the meat of the project, which is ripping the engine back out, going through it all, compression testing, putting new headers on it, new water pump, uh, oil change, the whole whole nine yards, everything you gotta take, take and do for an engine that's been sitting this long, basically a semi-rebuild. And once we get that done, we're gonna drop it back in, hook the transmission up, and we're gonna crank it up and get it running. And then once we can move it around a little bit, it's gonna to go to my garage, to my shop, or I can do some things like start replacing every hose in here, start replacing the interior, replace the tires, brakes, rotors, you know, work on a rear brake conversion kit so I have discs all the way around. It's gonna be a big project. I'm hoping to get it home by the end of this year. And, you know, in the next year or two, get it all nice and properly restored back to beautiful condition-ish. So, if anyone has any ideas, suggestions, recommendations, things I should do, things I shouldn't do, things I should avoid, any information about the Landau top, drop it in the comments. Uh, any suggestions for rims, because I'm going to need four new rims, because these are, well, they're steelies. They don't look that good. I don't think they're going to fit very well with my final look of the car. I'm thinking 70s, 80s Trans Am, nice gold little snowflake pattern. I also think it'll look pretty tight. And we'll get uh, we'll get the door set, we'll get door seals and all that fun stuff and a headliner. So thank you for uh, watching and uh, being with me.